Hey, my name is Alexis Arias. I am a senior at Lee High School, and you guys will be watching my capstone video. And unfortunately, we had to do it this way due to the pandemic we are in, but we are going to make the most out of it. So before we get into the demonstration part of the video, I'm just going to give a little bit more background knowledge on why I chose this career more of that sense. Um, I chose cosmetology because I feel as they bring a lot to society, they bring a lot to the world we live in, they set trends, they allow women to feel beautiful and I feel like those are all good parts in the world. I mean, I feel like that's something that women need more of, is more self-love and confidence. And I feel like if I were to be cosmetologist, I could bring more awareness to that and I would be able to allow people to feel beautiful and express themselves differently and uniquely. And I guess I'm just really excited for that future part of my life. And that's really one of my main reasons why I wanted to go into it. It's such a wide variety career that you can do. You can do highlights, you can do waxing, you can do skin care, you can do hair treatments, which hair is where I mostly would want to specialize in because I feel like hair can transform a lot about a person. But yeah, so. That is just a little intel on how my process of choosing this career kind of was and why I knew it was good for me and a good fit. Hey guys, so now we are getting into the demonstration part of the video, which is kind of the key, the key point in the video. Um, so a demonstration I wanted to show you guys was since we are in quarantine and we are trying to avoid stores kind of as much as possible right now, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys a hair mask that you can make with ingredients that you have in your kitchen. You can almost make a hair mask out of anything. Anything can be beneficial to the hair. I know, I know it's kind of like your appearance could kind of be like the last of your worries especially during these times but always make sure to take care of yourself and to take care of your hair it doesn't even have to be about your hair it's just mostly the effect it gives you it's more of a you telling you're telling yourself oh i'm taking care of myself i'm doing the right steps and that's the main the main point the main sitch so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mask that is really good for damaged hair. Now, I know especially, I don't know if any of you guys have been on TikTok or anything lately, but everyone's dyeing their hair in this quarantine. Almost, almost everyone has dyed their hair. I haven't, <laughs> but that's a shocker. But a lot of people have dyed their hair, so I felt like why not do a mask that is gonna that is good and beneficial to damaged hair so all we're gonna need for this mask is some honey some aloe vera my mom grows her own aloe vera plant so it's very accessible to me um if you don't have aloe vera that that's fine you don't you don't necessarily need it but it aloe vera is very beneficial um some lemon and an avocado it the avocado can be old guys it could be an old avocado it doesn't matter honestly the older the avocado the better it'll be for your hair just saying and a blender that's all we're gonna need for this first hair mask so let's get into all that so the audio had cut out in these clips but basically i'm just showing the ingredients and stuff that i'm putting in i was just talking about the fractionings of it basically i put in a whole avocado and a big chunk of aloe vera into the blender so it can all get all mixed up in there um and now i'm adding a spoonful of honey and i'm showing you guys me adding the lemon i added a whole lemon in and i'm just squeezing it into the blender with the rest of the ingredients that is gonna go into this mask and right here i'm just showing you guys how it looks okay 
so this is our first mask and it looks like this the creaminess is supposed to the texture of it is what it's really gonna tell you if it's mixed all the way yet you want it to be very thick and you're gonna want to apply this mask on damp hair very not super dreaded drenched in water just a little bit damp because the water will act like a bond for the mask and you'll apply the mask you leave the mask on for 30 minutes rinse it out shampoo all all that good stuff normal routine that you usually do and i promise you the mask if you have damaged hair even if you don't have damaged hair this mask will will do wonders for your hair it'll bring it back to life you don't you also don't have to apply this everywhere you can just apply it at the ends or where whatever is mostly dead if i've never really seen anybody with dead roots because roots are you know your new hair so yeah so towards your ends is where you're gonna apply majority of the mask and this so before i wrap up the video i just want to show quick before and after of my little brother's hair with the mask it defined his curls and made his hair less frizzy so now we are at the conclusion part of the video and i just want to say that thank you to everyone who has watched and who stuck around through the whole video i hope you guys got a better understanding of kind of why I chose cosmetology. I chose it because it allows people to feel better about themselves. You are able to help people express themselves in different ways and in unique ways and kind of show their own beauty. And I've always been a big fan of hair and all the other stuff that goes around it. So I hope that you did enjoy the video and I hope that you yeah. make these hair masks and that they work for you and that you have fun making them and yeah. just a thank you just a huge thank you yeah. to all you guys um i would like to let you guys know that i do plan on yeah. in the future opening up my own business and having my it's own place it's, it's expert showing cosmetology and um yeah can't wait to see where that takes me in life um thank you to all my teachers and to all the teachers who are watching this um thank you for helping me get here it has been a huge milestone it has been a huge journey to get here some of you guys have been my teachers in sixth grade so it means a lot um it has been a rough couple months it has there's a lot been going on. There's a lot that's been taken from seniors. And I'm glad that we got to at least do something like this to show a little bit of our hard work that we've been putting into these. And yeah. So I hope this gave you a better understanding of me and me as a person. That this gave you a better all understanding of my capstone. Thank you for coming. Okay. And I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves and being healthy.